Congratulations. I thought you did such a great job. Oh, and you're just your effervescence on the screen was you. lovely to see. What is it like to be part of a Gary Marshall ensemble? Oh, well, it's kind of a dream come true. He's he's sort of the epitome of romantic comedies and and it's my favorite genre. And <laughs> I know it's a surprise. And uh, I just really have always wanted to either meet him or get to work with him. And so it was such a dream for me to get to be a part of this. So what is it like, Catherine, to be in his presence? And how does he get all of you to be in a film like this and keep it all together? I don't know. I really don't know how he does that. Uh, I'm glad it's not my job. But um, he is uh, one of the kindest, sweetest man men I've ever met. He just... He is really embracing and wants everyone to really enjoy themselves and have a great time and feel comfortable and uh, very collaborative, wants, you know, whatever ideas you have, he's willing to try and um, creates an environment on the set of just a lot of really great, friendly sort of people that it's almost like a family and you get to be a part of it for that period of time. It's yeah. really nice. So you're back in the catering business. For yeah. life as we know it, you were making cakes and things. That's so now right. you've branched out and making different different food. But is this like a secret thing that you'd like to be a cook one day? No. Well, it was, you know, if you ever have those sort of fantasies about what would I have been if I weren't this? Um, a chef is one of those things for sure. Or at least culinary school. I don't know if I would have really wanted to like work in a restaurant. Uh, those hours can be pretty brutal, and I think those guys have a really serious, intense schedule. But the idea of getting to go maybe to, like, Paris and study, you know, how to cook and bake it would have been cool. That would have been, that's for yeah. sure. Um, but you get to work with some great people in this film, of yeah. course. And first I want to talk about trying to keep a straight face opposite people like Sofia Vergara, I know. Russell Peters. Hello. I think the beauty is that I don't necessarily have to. Like, my character didn't have to. I could actually laugh at them and, and what they were saying and, and enjoy it because it is really difficult. Because uh, a lot of it was impromptu uh, or improvised just... Um, out of nowhere. So when it takes you by surprise, there's no way to keep a straight face. Especially Sophia, because she's yeah. so crazy. She is. She's hilarious. She's got the best timing in the world. And how did you like working with Russell Peters, our Toronto boy? Mm. Russell's hilarious. He gave me like his books, his DVDs. I'm like, great. I'm totally set for the flight home. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I love good comedy. I love anybody with a sense of humor. So being with him was great. Yeah, he certainly has yeah. that. Okay, so I have to know what the art uh, or the secret art is to slapping John Bon Jovi. Well, just a good old stage slap. <laughs> there's a, a there's an art to faking it that is supposed to look convincing, and um, we have stunt coordinators who teach you how to do that. What angle and how high to hold your hand and at what level and you know how flat or curled. It's all. It's all in the Movie stunts. Magic. Movie yeah. magic. But what was it like to work with someone like that? I mean, it's so funny that, you know, you are married to a musician, so here you get to do these great scenes with someone like John Bon Jovi. Like, was, is your husband friends with him? Had they worked together? No. Or there, was anything like no, that No, that would have been cool, yeah. but no. Um, I, I did talk to John a lot about touring and how he's made his marriage work over the years and what he suggests for my husband and I and how to, you know, how to, it's a difficult business and it's, a, it's complicated and the hours are... Or the traveling is what really just, um, you know, you have to embrace it. And and John has found some really wonderful ways and, and has some great ideas on how to how to make it work for a family. Yeah, and I mean, and he acts and everything, and he, he makes it I all know. work. Yeah. I love him. He's a really great inspiration, I think. He is. He really is. Yeah. And he's a great guy. And he's, you know, I really am grateful I had that opportunity to work with him and talk to him and get to know him. He's just sort of an exceptional person. Yeah. Is New Year's even an important evening for you? It is. Um, it, it certainly is because I think it's a great time to 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 reflect on the year past and to get excited about the upcoming year or terrified, whichever. And um, I love to keep it really mellow. I'm not big on parties. I'm not big on scenes. I I, I like quiet, comfortable. You know, just the people nearest and dearest to you, and um, plenty of cocktails. Yeah. Easy access to a bathroom. You know what I mean? Yeah, and and also for you, it also makes life uh, so different for you because now that you're a mom, it must make your life so much different in terms of your yeah. priorities. Yeah, I just want to be home. You know, I just want to be at home. I want to, and you know, I'm a night owl, so I tend to stay up late anyway. So the midnight thing doesn't bother me. But 
but comfortably stay up late. Do you know what I mean? In my comfy shoes, in my comfy pajamas. <laughs> and watching the ball drop <laughs> from the television. Ball drop from television. I'm, yeah. totally, I'm totally happy about that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I hear you. I can yeah. totally relate to that. You um, are, there's so many amazing stars in this film, and it, it, it's great the ones that you did get to connect with. But was there anybody in the film that you didn't get to work with or just got to hang with or meet or that you were like, oh my God, I can't believe it? I, well, pretty much everybody except for John and Sophia. That, that, those were the two that I got, had the great privilege of working with and meeting. But um, there was no one else that I met. <laughs> so I'm really excited for the premiere because I think that I might get to meet the rest of the cast. <laughs> and you didn't even get to work with Josh Demel in this one. I line. know. It's tragic. It's so funny. It would have been so bizarre if our storylines had like crossed over somehow or something. Yeah. Well, that'll be in his in Gary Marshall's next one. Mm. It will, he'll make it work for you somehow. Right. Yeah. You are such talk a, to him about Yeah, that. you will have to talk to him about it. He told me that his next one might be about Mother's Day and Father's Day. Oh, that's a great idea. Is that a universal one? A universal holiday? Does sure. every country celebrate Absolutely. that? Absolutely. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so I think that could work. So that's a we'll, great idea. Yeah, well, we'll get you guys married off in that one. Oh, yeah. fantastic. Yeah, there you go. Um, <laughs> you have another big film that's coming out, and I am so excited for One for the Money. Oh, okay. And I just want to ask you briefly about Stephanie Plum and yeah. playing her, because that's such that had to have been a little daunting. I mean, this is a character that people read in a novel that, you yeah. know, pretty, pretty big stuff. What was it like for you to step into her shoes? It was nerve-wracking. It was really nerve-wracking. I think that uh, there is such, uh, such a tremendous amount of pressure put on it because it's a character people have loved now for gosh since the early 90s so um you don't want to blow it and you don't want to blow people's expectations and and I really and I'm a fan now you know I'm a fan of Stephanie Plum and I didn't want to disappoint myself so I really wanted uh to nail her whole thing her look her vibe but a lot of it is just personal interpretation because how she sounds in my head may not necessarily be how she sounds in other fans heads so it was trying to kind of tap into that universal vibe of her that people would relate to and and just going for it, letting go of the nerves and just going for it. Yeah, and it's something that, you know, if, it, if people like it, there could be lots more. Right, which would be a dream come true. Yeah, that's that would amazing. be awesome. I also want to ask you about the, uh, the, the wedding or the big wedding. I'm not sure what they're calling it. Yeah, you I now. don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> but that has a fantastic cast too. Robin it does. And that was a big ensemble as well. Um, and it was really another great kind of mind-blowing opportunity because I don't know that I ever thought that I would have an opportunity like that to work with that caliber of, you know, talent that that have made careers out of being just amazing. You know, Diane Keaton and Susan and Rob and, uh, I mean, Robin Williams. And, oh, my God, it was kind of just crazy. It was out of control. Well, well, <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. And like I said, you did such a great job in this. It was lovely to see you. And your I Hate Balls campaign is so hilarious. Thank Congratulations you. on that. <laughs> way to go. You're going to raise tons of money. I right? hope so. We're, uh, we're hoping that more people will get involved. So hopefully people will go to the website, too, and find out how they can be involved. At this point, everyone's just watching it, laughing, and moving on. And we're like, we've raised $800. <laughs> well, tell them, tell them. Funny or die. I know. Funny, funny or die. Die. Com, people. Check yep. it out. It's really good. Yep. She's hilarious. <laughs> Great you. to talk to you. Thank, Thank you. you.